ones where the area has got that for us. So uh, we're going to set this up from uh, the seated guard. So my initial grip is going to be just below the collarbone. So that allows me to get a better grip over the head as opposed to a deep grip here where my arm's going to be in the way. So I want to pull to force him to come forward, not so much sit up. Okay, it's too easy to posture and pull the head out. So as you come up, the leg that's on the outside, I want to drop to create that space. And what's important is when the shoulder comes over, you're not just dropping here. So at this point, without controlling, he's just going to loop his head out. Okay. So once that shoulder comes over, I'm dropping the shoulder down and pulling the collar. It keeps the head in place. As opposed to just coming here like this, where he's going to duck under and clear. Okay. So pull enough to almost pull yourself up here and then create this. My second grip is to open this. I don't want him to shut this space down. Okay. So here and here. So just below the collarbone, I drop this to create space, loop over, and then open up the elbow on the opposite side. I got it? Perfect. So this arm is going to come through, palm up, and my head's going to follow here. Okay. This hand is going behind the head. As I pull the collar, I'm extending the opposite arm. Try and pull here, it's too high. It's the reason I drop this leg back to come up. Controlled above the elbow to create that space. And then slide the hand through. Your head has to follow. Here. I should be looking up at it when I finish the choke. Pull the elbow down and extend the opposite arm. Open and shoot deep in the armpit here and pull. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. So what I don't want to see is this. Okay. Rotate under your partner. The roll is his option to try and defend the choke. Okay. Over here. 